Well, good news. I have cracked the puzzle. And by that, I mean I watched the YouTube video and it and that told me how, how to go. But, yeah, uh, you just have to ram this door. It's that simple. I do remember having tried that, so let's see. Yep, it worked. But again, I, I remember I tried that door. Maybe I just remembered it wrong. Don't take off your pants so often. So I found an old friend of yours deep in a coal mine outside Hillsboro. Why do you pause for so long between conversations? This is why nobody likes you. Plus, that you are a Nazi Uber Commando. You know, one of the reasons. At the end of the hall. I'm at the laundry. Why am I back at a prison era? This. To you, Joe. I'm supposed to be avoiding this place. See you around, gunslinger. Oh, why do I get a feeling that he's just uh, luring me to another jail? Papa? The, the you, son? Ooh. I can't go on no more. My spirit's even me. Get on out of here. Forget it. The stallions are no quitters, old man. Hell's bell, son. Yeah. Ah! Papa had ignited the fire inside. I wasn't about to let Netza get to my family. I had passed through the eye of the storm and come out as something else. A beast of vengeance. A machine built to destroy Nazis. Ooh. Well, I guess we continue. Why not? Uh, if we saved our dad. It's kind of curious how that Matt, Matty, or what, how to pronounce his name, just the, willingly led us to him. He did not. Not only did he not try to stop us, he actually just uh, let us go. Which is really a curious choice for him. I'm guessing it's gonna cost him. All right, volume three, showdown. Stay here, Papa. Rest up, okay? Go on, raise some hell, son. After Springfield, I traveled across the Midwest. I was a man on fire, burning with a singular purpose, to destroy Roderick Metza. I was a hunter, a predator following a trail of blood. And my prey led me to the Topeka Space Center in Kansas. The fire was burning ever brighter inside me, but I knew I was in for a heck of a fight. Metza had caught a case of the jitters, hiding away in the high security space center in Topeka. There was no place left on Earth for him to run. Are we going to space? Are we going to space? That's the only question that I'm worried about right now. Well, we've been to Moon, we've been to Venus. Where are we going this time?
Oh, your poor leg. Did I just hear a big robot landing sound? It's usually a bad sound. Finally, this time we're not running anymore. We're actively attacking. We haven't even joined up with any resistance yet. We're already on a mission. This thing sounds like it's really painful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You scared me. What are you guys doing? Who thought this was a good idea? Dude. Look, if if I were one of you, I would take a look at the only two places where there are a whole lot of Nazi bodies. And I would make it a top priority for myself personally to avoid these two places. I like that they twitch a little bit when I take their take their weapons and uh, ammo and all that. It makes me feel like I'm actually uh, I'm actually feeling them around for ammo, even though no such process was animated. Not that I enjoy groping Nazis. I just feel like I need to make that a, a little bit clearer. Because you never know what can be taken out of context, right? Not that it was any better in context, just saying. I still don't understand this weapon, but apparently it causes extreme pain, which is good. You might be wondering why I don't really indulge in the double wielding mode of this game. I barely used any double wielding uh, uh, during my playthrough of Wolfenstein 2 or any of the DLCs. It's because when you are double wielding, you can't uh, concentrate your shot like this, which I find to be a crazy essential part to leave out. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Bastard's office. Could still smell him in here. Smelled like a dentist's office. Made me never want to see a dentist again. <laughs> so what, you enjoyed a dentist before? 
Article from newspaper 1950. In a stunning display of Aryan prowess, the German super team defeated the Americans in the Uber Bowl 42 to 7. So they did have that Uber Bowl. In the final seconds, American born rising star Rod Roderick, Rod Roderick Metz scored his fourth touchdown of the day in a stunning display of Aryan superiority. Hmm. Could this be the guy's son? In what was to be the final game of the ridiculous American football played, the Americans proved they are inferior to the amazing German team who just had learned the game two weeks prior. <laughs> Americans are excited to see the superior form of football in stadiums across the country next season. The Americans' lone touchdown came from the war criminal gunslinger Joe Stallion, who was captured along with his treacherous resistance at the conclusion of the game. Due to the sportsmanship displayed by the traders, the American players will be allowed to serve a life sentence mining coal in the Hillsboro mine. So, he is playing American football. I thought he was playing European football, just because I thought they had banned all other forms of ball games except football. Just give me a second. Let me. Let me look around a little bit. That asshole's office. Maybe I should just shoot everything to bits. Although I don't think it would work. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take his gold. I'm gonna take his gold supply. That's a nice revenge. Gentlemen of the Overcommando, a vulgar display of force is the only way and the American resistance growing in the Midwest. The sun there, aka the sun gun, orbiting Earth, will soon be operational. I propose um. going to Venus, where I can coordinate an attack that will set fire to everything within the borders of Region 2 and 3 of the American territory. Are you fucking kidding me? You made a Death Star? Uninhabitable for many, many years. But I think you all agree it would be worth it. Thank you for listening. This is typical decision. empire oh, mindset, right? Oh, the rebels are forming a base so on this planet. So had flown the coop to Venus. So let's destroy the whole planet. Hedging bets on destroying America. Well, I wasn't gonna let the game end like that. I had to find a way inside that launch station. Maybe there was a hidden opening somewhere. Yeah, we're going to Venus. Ah, oh, fuck. Hitler is on Venus, right? I don't know if he's at Venus at this time. This is... Oh, wait. The article I just read was 1950, so that's uh, way before this time. Back at the topic of the Emperor and the Death Star, I mean... the. The Death Star didn't even make a lot of sense as a weapon to quell the uh, rebellion, right? When you think about it, rebellion... The Death Star's function is to destroy a whole planet, but the rebels were not about any planets. It would make more sense to make a Death Star if the rebellion was uh, mostly from one single planet, or they have a stationary planet as a as a base but they didn't if it was like a, a naboo rebellion then they can make a death star and just kill naboo that would make sense but the rebellion as it was was going from planet to planet so i really don't know what was supposed to accomplish the hell? <laughs> you know what? Just because I could... 
never realistically maintain the stealth. Search around this place for interesting stuff. Oh, what is down there? You know what? I'm not gonna even find out. This, this can be worth it. Is this supposed to be? Ah, oh, I actually do have to get down here. Alright, super weapon. Where's the other half of it? Isn't confusing at all. Um, we uh, need to go go down first. Huh, you know what? This does remind me a little bit of the Venus level, but... We're still on Earth, aren't we? That just happened. We're going to Venus. Gunslinger Joe is about to be upgraded to Space Ranger Joe. We're gonna need a new theme song. You're just back to be stealth. Okay. 
You know my strategy at this point. Keep them coming. Anymore? I can see that motherfucker right over there. I'll be okay now. Well, not quite. There's always another motherfucker. You know what? That should be the tagline of this whole franchise. There's always another motherfucker. Perfectly encapsulates something to hide in. The, the spirits of this entire franchise ship to Venus. since, I don't know, to drop into the, this kind of place again. Oh, look at that. Space, I realized I was signing my death sentence. This was a one-way ticket. End of the line for Gunslinger Joe. I don't know about that. But I had to keep moving. I had to keep fighting. For Papa. For America. So it gotta keep going, right? It can't possibly be ending. Oh yeah, of course I'm keeping going. It felt like an eternity had passed by in that container. <laughs> My body ached. I didn't even know up from down. I just knew I had to get out, find Metza, and stop him from using that sun gun. Well, considering that the BJ came back, he, uh, America was not dead. In fact, we actually got to play in one of some of the places. I'd say uh, the mission, <laughs> the mission was a success.
Right in the balls. Hey! Who sounded the alarm? And here I was feeling kind of safe. Great. Ah, not these kind of pl things again. <laughs> what was it that killed me? Did he shoot a missile at me? I don't remember the dogs being able to do that. Maybe they changed them up. So... Oh, come on. Switch it up. Ah. <sighs> But still, find out about me. Okay, need to take the dog out really quick. You know what? Let's. God damn it. Wow. Just, just wow. You didn't lose your touch a little bit. Uh. Okay, health pack, health pack, health pack, please. So about to die here. Oh, thank God. All right, not going to die now. Yeah, maximum health, maximum armor. Bring it. Hiding among the corpses, aren't we? Wow, you died standing up. Is he running away from me? Oh, 
Oh no, running away from me now. Oh shit. Took too much health. Don't tell me things are gonna be peaceful now. Nice, even though I don't know what that is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't expect the upgrade to change it so drastically. Whoa! I lost almost all of my health. What the hell? Shit! It's been so it's been you. Uh, I need. Yeah, I need one of these. Call me down, please. They can't design spacesuits right. like the 1000 first reason you don't want Nazis to take over the world there it is they're moving people to Venus before they can make the space route right Can I go back, please? Shit. Keep thinking you're a live person. Do you not do this? Okay. Obviously. Ah, shit. I knew I would be ambushed here. But there's nothing I can do about that. I gotta recharge. Now and again. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a really bad place to put me. Wow, this is like the worst checkpoint I've ever seen. Okay, I've seen worse. I've seen checkpoints that put you immediately one second before your death. Like the bullet is already flying towards you or some somebody was already swinging a hatchet to you, things like that. That's like true bullshit level here, but this is like not a lot better. Gonna have to mount a defense here. Nobody attack me, nobody attack me, nobody attack me. Good. 
Oh, there's a health pack right here. The fuck have I been doing? not a good idea. Oh, you're gonna put me right back to that... Fuck. God damn it. We're doing better this time. Oh, 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 I only just determined that I was doing better. I didn't expect the explosion to be so explosive. It's not my fault. How did you come down? I'm coming. I hear a robot. I'm kind of getting familiar with your sound effects now. Come on, where's the robot? Where are, you, where are you people going? Well, that's more like it. Gotta take the risk. <laughs> Fuck! What am I supposed to do? Okay, uh, maybe I can... <laughs> Shit, maybe I can just charge it halfway. Not amused. Let's save just so we don't have to do this all the time. All right. Oh, come on. Thirty health. One shot. 
This is why the 100% shot it means nothing. I mean 100% health. If I, if I can just transport some of the health packs, that would be great. Next. Just avoided. Ah! Come on. You know what? Let's conclude this tomorrow. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, see you next episode. Uh, I'm done for the day. <laughs> this is getting a little bit ridiculous. It's not that this is like the most difficult thing ever, but just uh, taking a toll on me. Uh, anyway. See you next time as we conclude the Gunslinger Joe of the Freedom Chronicles. Bye.